Hi, this is David from Elementor, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Flipbox widget. The Flipbox widget lets you create an astounding flip effects while being hovered. In this tutorial, we're going to go through designing our background, editing our content, such as title and description, and of course, the Flipbox animations. To begin with, let's search for our Flipbox widget. Let's drag the widget to its area. Once we put the widget in place, you'll see the Content tab and the Style tab. Let's go back to Content. Now note that there are two tabs, Content and Background. Let's go back to Content. Now, if you wish to change the icon or the graphic element, you can click on None. It's going to disappear. Or you can click on Image. Let's pick an image. Let's say this one. And you can choose an icon from our list. Now, as you can see, there are more options such as view. You can choose stacked or framed. And you can choose a shape, square or circle. Now, if you wish to change the title or description, you can change the title here. You can write flip box. And you can change the description right here. Now let's go over to background. In background, we have two types of backgrounds, the classic and the gradient. Let's go over to classic. In classic, we have color. You can choose a solid color, such as blue, green. And you can pick an image. Now, most of the times the image will be positioned not so right, so you can choose to center the image by clicking here. There is also an attachment when you can choose scroll or fixed, and you can choose options from repeat, and let's pick the size of cover. A very nice feature we have here is the color overlay. This can make your image much nicer. We can reduce the opacity. Now I'll show you the gradient. In gradient, you have two types of colors. You have the first color, and you have the second color. For each color, you can choose the location. And you can choose the type of the gradient, radial or linear. And you can choose the position of it by clicking on position. Now, as you can see, there's also a cover overlay here but we're not going to go into it right now. Now let's go to side B. Now it's important for me to mention that if you click on side B, you won't have any flip effect. Only if you click on side A. Now side B is quite similar to side A, but the main difference is that you have an option to put a button here. Let's write on button text, flip box. Now, there's also an option to put a link inside. Now, as you put your link inside, you will see more options. Apply link on. You can apply your link on button only and whole box. And you can also open a link in your new tab by pressing this one. Now, let's go over to settings. There's height and border radius. Let's set the height. And let's set the border radius to be more rounder. Let's. Now, the most important thing are the flip effects. There is the flip, 
There is the slide. There is push. Zoom in. And zoom out. And lastly, fade. Let's go back to flip. Now flip has also directions. It has right, left. up and down now the most unique thing about the flip effect is that it has the 3d effect i'll turn it on let's see you can choose directions let's go to the other slides as you can see they also have directions right up and down and that's it for the settings now it's important for me to mention that if you click on side b you won't have any flip effect only if you click on side a let's go to the style tab but before let me just change the height so you can see the changes better let's go and change the background solid and let's go to the style now in style you have a front side and a back side let's go to the front side now in front side you have padding you have alignment and you have vertical position let's change the padding to 13 let's set the alignment you can set it or left or center or right you can choose vertical position to be top or middle or bottom next we have the border type you can choose solid or double dotted or dashed you can choose the width you can pick a color now next you have the icon settings you can set the spacing between the icon and the title. You can set the primary color. You can set the secondary color. And you can set the icon size to be like this. And the icon padding rotate the icon and you can play with the border width you can also choose to set the border radius to be square now as we go along we can set the spacing for the title the spacing is between the title and description. You can change the text color to be, let's say, yellow. You can choose to turn on the typography and check out the typography settings. Uh, you have size. You have family weight transform style, line height, and letter spacing. turn it off you can also set text color for description and the typography now let's go over to the back side here you have padding alignment and vertical position it's all the same if you scroll down you see there's an option to design the button something that wasn't before so you have an option to create an extra small an extra small small medium large and extra large Let's keep them as small you can also turn on the typography here you have more options like text color you can choose a text color to be blue you can choose the background color to be yellow 
and the border color to be black. Let's clear them all off. You can set the border width and the border radius to be circle. Also, you have the hover, it's the same options. You can set color, text color to here, and then you will see when you hover, it changes. I hope you enjoyed our video. For more videos and tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.